Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, what is the difference between row num and row id. So we'll talk about them one by one. So what is row num? It's kind of a pseudo column or uh, a generated sequence, auto generated sequence assigned to the output written by the oracle. Okay. So whenever we are trying to execute any query and it's result, it's returning a set of result, it will assign a number. It's a numeric value. So it will assign the first record uh, as row num 1, second as 2, 3, 4 and so on. Okay. So it's an auto-generated sequence generated by Oracle for your query output. Okay. As we said, it's an auto-generated sequence. So the first row uh, will be assigned as row num value 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. So why we are assigning uh, values to each row? first row will be assigned as 1 and second as 2 because uh, because of the limiting purpose so that we can uh, limit our output okay so suppose we our query is fetching uh, many number of records uh, let's say the query is fetching thousand records and we want only 500 records in our result set so we can just limit the output using row num column okay so if you don't have any column to limit the output so suppose i want to display only 500 records so i can just put a filter in the way condition where row num is less than or equal to 500 okay so this is just for the limiting purpose and as it is generated at runtime so it will be a logical logical number okay that's a number so first of all uh, row num is numeric numeric and it is generated at runtime so it's a logical number it will be a temporary it will not be stored in the database so row num is just a sequence number which is automatically automatically generated by oracle and this is used just for displaying purpose and to limit your output now let's talk about uh, what is row id so as row num is a numeric value row id will be a hexadecimal number Why it's a hexadecimal number because it's the address of your rows in the table so whenever you are trying to insert any record into your table so one row id will be generated by oracle which is the physical address of that particular row in the database okay so this is not temporary value this will be a permanent value that uh, indicates the physical address of the row This will be generated automatically whenever you're trying to insert a record into your into your table. It is generated automatically by inserting records into a table. So as you are storing this into a database, this is not temporary. This is fixed value and it is permanent and row id is the fastest means of accessing data so when we are trying to fetch data from a table it will be much faster if you are trying to fetch through row id instead of any other column
Now let's let's look into a table where we have uh, this row num and row id values. So here I've already created a table. So I'll just display the records from it. So I've inserted 10 records into this table. So first of all, I have created this table with two columns id and name. So I'm just displaying it now. So as you can see, we have id, name and 10 records. Okay. Now, let's select a row num value along with the columns. So as we discussed, the row num is a sequence number automatically generated by Oracle at runtime for your query output. So in this case, uh, this first first row will be assigned as row num one, second as two, and so on. So let's execute this query. As you can see, the row num values are assigned from one to ten. Okay. Now let's check about the row ID that we discussed. Row ID is a physical address of a row that will be generated automatically by Oracle, and that will be a physical location to a particular row. And it's a hexadecimal number, so it will not be numeric. So let's select the row ID column. So as you can see, this is a hexadecimal number. So the first one will be the address of this first row. Second will be the address of the second row and so on. So this is automatically generated by Oracle and we are storing these values into the database because it's a row ID column. It's a hexadecimal number, whereas the row num is just for a sequential purpose or for limiting purpose. Why I said for it is for limiting purpose because we can limit the rows. So suppose I want to display out of those 10 records, I want to display only 5 records. So I can put a condition where row num is less than or equal to 5. So in this, in this case, I'll be having only 5 records in my result set. So let's try to execute this. So as you can see, I have only 5 records now. Now the question which you can face in your interview is uh, because we talked about row num, row num is a temporary value, row id is a permanent value. So interviewer can ask that you can face this question in your interview that when this row id can change. Because it's a physical address, it's a permanent value that is stored in a database, there are possibilities th there are possibilities that this value can change. Okay. When row id changes. So just think about the possibilities when we can change the values of a row ID. Okay, so one possibility is when we are trying to change a partition key. So suppose your table is partitioned into different partitions. Okay, suppose your table is having five partitions. Now you're clubbing them into three partitions. Then the rows will move from one partition to another partition. So in that case, that is the, that is one possibility where row ID can change. So So when there is a change in partition key, row ID will, value will get changed for that particular record, or for all the records. Second is when you're trying to shrink the tables, shrink the shrink the space. Okay, so when you're trying to move your table so that so that the values can uh, the inserted records can use the free spaces within the database. In that case, also row ID will change. So moving table means we are trying to move that particular record from that storage space to another space which is available. Okay. Now let's see how that row ID will change. So I'm just creating a sample table with only four records. So I just need to create uh, with four records. So I'll use row num for limiting purpose. So I, because I'm creating this table from the table which I have already created, the EMP tab. Okay. So my command will be create table. My tab. I select a star from EMP tab. EMP tab where row num is less than or equal to five. So this table will be created with five records.
asterisk as you can see table is created now select ID comma name comma row ID from my tab so as you can see we have this row ID here so let's just copy this output because after this I'll be doing the ultra command to move my records to the free spaces okay so this is my first snap now just move your table so what this will do this will move those records from this physical address to another physical address which is available so let's just execute this command as you can see tab table is altered now just let's just try to select these columns and row id from my tab so you can find the differences this is my first snap this is my second snap so i'll just copy it so that you can just see the differences clearly so let's check this a a v y 5 a k right whereas the first record after moving that table is having 6 a okay so there are difference in the row id after running this move command so these are the few differences between row num and row id and the possibilities when our row id can change okay so thanks for watching my video like share and subscribe to my channel